So I just finished using the T595 to get all this nasty crap down into a pile somewhere else so we don't have to smell it. This stuff I can't get to. And it, this was all up here at one point, so we just used that thing to get it all down. And then this we're going to have to get either by hand or someone's going to have to hop on that and do some scraping. And then our new shed's coming along nicely. Here, I'll... So, even though the door's open, we're going to take the normal door. So, dug a trench. So we got our electricity stuff getting built. Then we got a trench built with the wire going all the way. Kind of buried it. Just followed this track and that's roughly where the trench is. So we just... We had the trench go all the way from... From that electric pole right there. All the way around over to here. And then right here it splits and it goes up to there. And then if we go under... And then it goes back up right here. And right here we're going to have a box that turns on the silo. So that we don't have to go and plug it in every time. And then it just goes all the way up to there. So i got to give the bowl some hay. Well, that's filling up. I'll show you how we dug the trench. We we'll use this thing that you attach to the bobcat. And yes, my dad works at Bobcat. We we'll use this thing that attaches to the bobcat. And then you just turn it on and it digs trenches. Simple. Ah, that's good enough for now. It's a long hose. I'm gonna go show you guys where I dumped all this crap right there. Oh, look at Dad's brain. The rest of our corn today. I have no clue when we're doing beans, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be cutting hay in two weeks.
There's where we dumped all the manure from the steer lot. And there's another pile of manure from the steer lot. And here's our manure spreader and here's the path that I kept taking with the... Oh, there's our old bunk before we had the massive cement ones. Oh, that thing was junk. So I went down this hill and every single time I went through, when I hit this rock right here, the whole track machine just vibrated. And I couldn't get the rock out. Because it was like 10 feet underground. It's a huge rock and right here is all the junk. This stuff smells horrible. Like horrible, horrible. And we only have two bales left of hay. Them are shred bales or stalk bales. Actually, there might be some hay bales there that we just can't get to because, you know, they're kind of locked away. <laughs> and there is our old silos and barn. Actually, no, the barn's right here. The silo's right here. Yeah. We took that path to get the silo stuff in there. There used to be a big silo right there and a tiny smile silo right there. Actually, I think at the end of this video, I'll just show you a clip of them both falling down. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Here, we have some bean bales. And there's my dad spraying again. There's our old calf hut. Yeah. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I don't really have anything else to do, I guess. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. And I'll throw in the clips of the silos falling down at the end of the video. So I'll see you in the next video. Also, when we were digging with the stump, not stump grinder, why'd I call it a stump grinder? When we were digging with the trench digger, there was like cement chunks that we'd run into and that thing is not the best at ripping cement apart so we got the jackhammer <laughs> and we just hooked it up to that thing because I don't think that thing would be able to pull the jackhammer. Yeah the trench went from that shed over to right in that corner and then it came right over to here and right here we took this pole put the string up this pole and now it's all the way up there. Mm. Oh. Back up, Dad. <laughs>